Hiya, how's it going? My name's Phil, welcome to the channel. I am a musician, composer, producer, and I wanted to talk you through today a latest track that I've made, which is a piece of meditation music going on inside timer, and some interesting techniques I've used uh, about turning an audio file into a MIDI file. So I just wanted to talk through the process and show you what I've done. So here on the screen you can see my Ableton session, which is super simple. There's not a lot of tracks in this. Um, and just to talk you through what I've got here. So uh, the top one here, this is, uh, these top two are audio tracks um, these ones these green ones are MIDI tracks and then the bottom one is another audio track so what I did to start off with is I recorded I'm just gonna put this on 120 I always keep it on the default for some reason so what I did was I recorded just a straight piece of me playing trumpet So you get the idea, pretty calm vibes, floaty, ethereal, relaxing. Um, and that goes on for the for the full piece, lasts about six and a bit minutes as you can see. And then what I wanted to do was, was mess with that. So what I did was I converted this audio track into a MIDI track. So if you don't know how to do this, you right mouse click on it. And in this case, I did convert melody to a new MIDI track. Um, so just to make sure I didn't lose anything, first of all, I took a, a duplicate of this track, and then, which is this one, and then this one, I converted to, to a MIDI track, which gave me this. So this, you can see down here at the bottom, is the MIDI notes made from my original trumpet audio track right now if it's a mini track then you can do whatever you want with it you can put different sounds through it so what I wanted to do was to try and make it sound like something else so I used labs Spitfire labs and I was looking for a bunch of different things I was looking for just something different I tried a load of synths and they didn't sound like they didn't sound right for what I wanted. Uh, and I came across this granular whale song, Drone Noise, which is just perfect. And got that set up. And then if we play back this track, uh, the other thing I did was I put it at half speed. So that takes the tune out to 12 and a half minutes. It slows my trumpet down massively and if you listen to the the original trumpet track it doesn't really sound you know so obviously you know, it's it's messed up so if we go back to this so the drone sound My trumpet notes in MIDI being played as a whale drone sound. So I did that for the full track and then what I did was uh, I put uh, Valhalla Supermassive through it. I love it on this preset make everything better. It just gives it a lot of ring and delay and just adds an extra bit of colour to it. And then I put Frontier on it, uh, which is a, a limiter, which uh, just boosts the boosts the volume a bit. 
I'm sure it does a bunch of other stuff. I don't really know what it does. But that just boosts the sound a little bit. And then, that on its own wasn't enough. So I duplicated it. And made this second track. Same set of notes, also in MIDI. And this time, I used <laughs> Wind and Bird Song. So I wanted something that sounded organic, something that sounded like nature. It's a meditation tune, so it needs to be relaxing and calming and um, nature sounds work well for that. So when we do the same thing again, again, same MIDI track, same notes, based on my original trumpet tune, slow down 50%. It sounds like this. So that was that, so that gave me what I wanted. So now I've got the drone sound and I've got the whale sound. Uh, um, I've got the drone sound and I've got the nature sound together. Now, to finish it off, a meditation track wouldn't be a meditation track without some, uh, some gongs or some sound balls. So I took a sample that I'd previously got off Splice years ago, um, which is a sound ball. That's all it is. So that just dots nicely throughout the track. So where we've got empty spots and key points in the track, I've just dotted this uh, singing ball just to, to draw it up nicely so the people that are meditating keep getting brought back to the present. That's having a, a singing ball or a, a, a gong or a bell through meditation tracks is a way to keep people centered and present and mindful. Um, so that's that. And then if we uh, if we listen to it all back together, the end result. The track is called Waves, it's out on Insight Timer sh uh, shortly. Um, if you don't have Insight Timer, it's free to download, it's got a load of meditation tunes on there. And yeah, this was how I made it, pretty cool. I've used it myself a lot of times, it's good for helping you get to sleep, helping you calm, get relaxed, de-stress. Um, it's a bit different, it's completely ambient. Um, and that's that. Anyway, interested in what you think, do have a listen and I'll play the full tune for you now. Thanks a lot. See you later. Okay, sorry. Something else I forgot to talk about. So, the volume and the levels and everything else. Um, when I first played it back, there was loads of clipping, uh, which means there was loads of sections where if you played it back, it would just sound really distorted and kind of over the top like your speaker was broken. So you've got to fix that, otherwise it just sounds horrendous. Most people, I think, will listen to meditation tracks on Inside Timer on some kind of mobile device. So the speakers are not the best. Um, so this is optimised for that. So all I did was, there was a few sections, this is a very basic way of doing it. But there was a few sections where it was peaking, so I've just manually um, put some automation on the volume there so it takes it down. Um, and on the master track, I've put an EQ, an 8 band EQ, just to level it out, flatten it out, um, and a bit more frontage just to boost it up. And then I put this through my mastering program and I use the DistroKid mastering thing, which is not perfect, it's AI, but it, I think it does 85, 90% of a job. And then I'll just bring it back in here and tweak it and finish it off. Uh, and then it's out there. So so yeah, so that's, that's what went into making it. Hope you enjoyed this. 
and I'll leave you with the full tune. And thanks a lot. See you later.